the chapter 13 uh, surface areas and the volumes what to find so we will see ninth problem from exercise 13.4 a right circular cylinder just encloses a sphere of radius r sphere of radius r a sphere is encloses in the cylinder correctly it is fit into the cylinder Good. so that what will happen the radius radius of cylinder also will be because from here to here diameter of uh, diameter of the uh, sphere diameter of the sphere this one diameter of the sphere this is diameter of the sphere means then automatically radius of cylinder will become r Radius of cylinder is equal to our radius of sphere. The cylinder encloses of the sphere. Okay, that's why our radius of cylinder equal to our radius of sphere. Right. Therefore, here it is given radius of sphere. R given, radius of sphere R, it is given. Therefore, radius of cylinder equal to radius of sphere. What is radius of sphere? R. Therefore, this is our this uh, radius. This is also radius. The diameter of the sphere will be two r. Therefore, from here to here, diameter of the sphere. Therefore, that is height of the cylinder. Therefore, height of the cylinder. Height of the cylinder equal to diameter of the sphere. That is equal to two r. That is two r. You take it as h. Okay, therefore the first question you see, find out the surface area of the sphere. What is surface area of the sphere? Four pi r square. Four pi r square. Our radius is r. Clear. Four pi r square. Next is CSA of a cylinder. What is CSA of a cylinder? Call the surface area of cylinder. Two pi r h. Okay, radius is r only. H is two r. H is two r. You put the radius r. You put into two r. That means what will happen? Two into two four pi r into r square. That is also four r square. Now required ratio. Third one. Ratio out of five. Required ratio. These two, that is a uh, obtained ratio of the area obtained one and two. Clear? Therefore, uh, area of one and two, area of uh, uh, surface area of a sphere by curvy surface area of the cylinder. That means four pi r squared by four pi r squared. Cut it. Everything cut it means one by one. That is one is to one. Both are same. So you cut means one by one. That is one is to one. Okay. Required ratio is. 1 is to 1. Understand? So, very simple problem, but you have to try to understand this uh, concept. Then. Okay, what is given in the problem? Clear accordingly. The diagram is very important. Clear diagram. From the diagram, you have to find out radius of cylinder and the height of the cylinder. Okay, radius of sphere is given. So, radius of uh, uh, cylinder is equal to radius of uh, sphere. Then, uh, height of the cylinder is uh, uh, diameter of the sphere. Diameter of the sphere, both are same, right? Then it will be easy, okay? So, next we will see uh, exercise uh, 13.5. Second problem is a cuboidal water tank is uh, 6 meter long and 5 meter wide and 4.5 meter deep. How many liters of water can it hold? Means you have to find out the volume. Your volume of cuboid, you know, L into B into H. Right? Very simple problem. But how to change them from meter cube to what uh, or liter? That is very important. Clear? You see, here uh, the length is uh, given. The length is six meter, 
and breadth. Breadth is uh, five meter. Wide means breadth. Okay, wide means breadth. Then deep means uh, that is depth. Depth means height. Height is given what uh, four point five meter. Everything in same unit. You have to check. Sometimes centimeter will be given. You have to change it to what meter. Now, how many liters of water can it hold? Means volume. Volume of uh, tank. Volume of tank. Cuboidal tank. Right. Volume of tank equal to L into B into H. L into B into H. That is equal to just to multiply six into five into two. Four point five. Okay, meter cube. That is meter cube. So thirty. This is thirty. Thirty into four point five. Right. Three into forty five. You know, three into forty five is uh, how much? Three into forty five. Hundred and thirty five. Okay. Then uh, you add one zero. Hundred thirty five zero. But uh, after decimal, you have one digit. So leave one digit and keep the point. Meter cube, this much meter cube. That is uh, one thirty-five meter cube. One thirty-five meter cube. All right. This is a uh, one thirty-five meter cube. All right. So what you have to do? One thirty-five meter cube. How to change into what? Thousand liter. One meter cube into thousand liter means uh, okay. You just uh, this much uh, meter cube. One thirty-five both side part. Means uh, <laughs> into thousand. Into thousand. See one meter cube. This is one meter means thousand liter. You have to multiply means then uh, this much liter. The tank capacity is okay. One lakh thirty five thousand liter. Understand? So easy problem here. Yeah. Next, you will see the fifth problem. The capacity of a cuboid tank is five uh, thousand liter of water. Find the breadth of the tank. Find the breadth of the tank if Its length and depth given. Okay, so then you have to find out the breadth. See, volume is given. Capacity means what? Volume of cuboidal tank is given. That is volume. Okay. Length is two point five meter. That is L. You take you name it as L. Then depth. Depth given ten uh, meter. That is you take it as H. Right. And a given capacity of Capacity of cuboidal tank fifty thousand liter fifty thousand liter. Therefore, uh, capacity is volume of cuboid. That is volume. Volume equal to fifty thousand liter means fifty uh, thousand by thousand divide thousand divide and meter cube one uh, meter cube equal to thousand liter. So you have to what fifty thousand liter means divided by thousand. Change liter to meter cube divided by thousand. So here you cut it means get fifty meter cube. Volume means you need to be fifty meter cube. Therefore uh, B we have to find out. So fifty by L into H. B equal to fifty by L. You have to put it two point five and H is a uh, ten. So fifty by ten multiplied means twenty five. Okay, ten multiplied means twenty five. So two is two. Therefore, breadth equal to two meter. Breadth equal to two meter. Therefore, breadth of tank. Two meter. Understand? Okay. So very simple this one. Understand? So next we will see one uh, very important problem. A village having a population of four thousand requires one fifty liters of water per head per day. It has a tank measuring this capacity L L B H given. Okay, length into breadth into height given. That is volume is uh, okay given. So for how many days uh, will the water uh, of this tank last? Okay, that means uh, here uh, given total population. Total population is four thousand in a village. Then water consumed per head per day, that is for one day per head for one day one fifty liter. Total volume of water consumed per day of four thousand persons means four thousand into this much liter. Now do multiply, right? 
So now you change this liter into meter cube because everything here is given in meter. So meter cube how to change means divided by thousand. Therefore, four thousand into one fifty by thousand meter cube. So zero character means uh, here uh, how much is sixty six hundred meter cube that is capacity. Clear. Now volume. Of tank, you have to find the volume of tank. Volume of tank equal to twenty into fifteen into six meter cube. You keep this one as it is. Therefore, uh, therefore, number of days. How many days we consume this? So number of days. Number of days. Number of days is equal to this volume of tank divided by how much water consumed, right? Per day, yes. or one uh, per day, or one day, how many water consumed? Volume of tank by how uh, volume of water consumed in one day? For one day that is equal to this uh, this one 20 into 15 into 6 by 600 divide means uh, this will go 100 this will go 5 times so this 5 cut means 3 so 3 days okay the whole tank water the whole tank water uh, served for 3 days So now you see this seventh problem here. Yeah, Godown measures uh, 60 meter uh, into 25 meter into 10 meter. Find the maximum number of wooden crates uh, each measuring. Each measuring 1.5 meter into 1.25 meter into or 0 0.5 meter that can be stored in the uh, Godown. That means how many crates can be stored in the uh, ground that uh, they ask me. Okay, and find the maximum number of uh, wooden crates okay, uh, stored in the ground. They ask me. That means uh, the number of uh, number of wooden crates equal to volume of this uh, okay, ground divided by uh, volume of your wooden crate. Volume of your wooden crate. A wooden crate having the length to breadth. This one I need to give up means uh, that is length to by breadth to by height. How to take it clear? Okay. Length to by breadth to by height. So straight away can write that the number of wooden crates equal to number of wooden crates uh, is equal to this uh, volume of bedroom that is 60 into all everything you see the unit everything in meter that's why this is straight away you can multiply right divided by this 1.5 into 1.25 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is equal to see what we can do is here uh, you remove the decimal that's why it will be easy right 15 by 10 this can be written as 15 by 10. This is 125 by 100 into 5 by 10. Understand? Now, this can be written as uh, 60 into 25 into 10 into this one 4 divided means this into. If you make into means the denominator, we have to take it as reciprocal. That means uh, 10 by 15. 10 by 15 into 100 by 125 into uh, 10 by 5, 10 by 5. Okay, now very simple, clear. You see this, uh, uh, this 5 you cut it here, 25 means 5 times will go. This 15 you cut it means 4 times will go. Okay, now in uh, uh, this uh, 100, 25 table, 100 is 4 times, this will be 5 times. So this 5, 5 you can cut it. Okay. That's all. Now, uh, 4 into 4, 16. 16 
three zero there. So sixteen thousand crates can be occupied, can be stored. So very easy. Okay, straight away you can divide that. Now uh, we will see the next one, ninth problem here. River 3 meter deep and 40 meter wide is flowing at the rate of 2 km per hour. 2 km per hour. How much water will fall into the sea in a minute? So that means uh, uh, width of the river is given. Width of the river means breadth is given. Clear? Depth of the river, 3 meter, that is height is given. Now water flows through the river, water flows through the river in one hour. One hour is two kilometer. You see here the water is flowing at the rate of two kilometer per hour, means one hour for one hour or for two kilometer. Using this, you have to find out the height. Okay, we need in a minute. Okay, in a minute we need. So one minute, how much water flows? Clear? Through the sea into the uh, through the what river into the sea. Okay, how much water will fall into the sea in a minute? That means water flows through the river in one minute. In one minute. Because one hour is what? Uh, 60 minutes. One hour is 60 minutes. Clear? So you divide uh, 60 that side, you will get a uh, minute. One minute you will get. Okay, so water flows. Water flows. Through the river, in in one minute, in one minute equal to just divided by sixty kilometer. Okay, kilometer. Now uh, you change it to meter. Two by uh, this two also you cut means thirty. Right, one time. So 1 by 30 into change into meter, 1000, that is meter, because everything you have to keep in the same unit. So 100 by 3, keep as it is, right? This is what length, length of the river we have to find out, right? Length is not given, you have to find out length of the river, that is L is the length of the river. Therefore, uh, water uh, flows through the river, uh, volume of water. Volume of water flows through the flows uh, through the river into into the into the sea into the sea in a minute in a minute is equal to Length into breadth into height. Length into breadth into height. That is equal to what is the length? 100 by 3 into 40 into 3. 40 into 3. Breadth is uh, 40 into 3. So cut cut. So 4000 liter. 4000 meter cube. 4000 meter cube. Right? 4000 meter cube. This uh, L 4000 meter. So to change into liter means 1 meter divided 1000 liter. So into 1000 you have to multiply. Right? Into 1000 you have to multiply. Okay. Sometime they may ask in liter. Okay. That time you have to multiply into 1000. Okay. Now in problem they didn't ask. That's so why keep it as it is. So 4000 meter cube is the answer. Okay. So, uh, volume of cylinder. What is volume of cylinder? Pi r square h. Clear? Pi r square h. Using that formula, you can see some problems. You know? Exercise is number 13.6. You see, read the problem. The circumference of a base of cylindrical vessel is 132 cm. Circumference of the base is given. Okay. And the height is given. So, from the circumference, you can find out the water radius. Okay. Then, how many liters of water means you have to find out the capacity. Can it hold? Means that is capacity how to find out. How many liters of water can it hold? Means capacity how to find out. Capacity means what type? Uh, volume. Volume of cylinder how to find out. Right. You see. 
first given circumference then height is given height of the cylinder is height equal to 25 cm that is uh, h into right next circumference is given circumference of base of cylinder okay circumference is uh, given uh, 132 cm therefore that is uh, 2 pi r circumference means 2 pi we have to find out radius that's why 2 pi r gives uh, 132 right now uh, that is uh, 2 into 22 by 7 pi means 22 by 7 that is equal to 132 now bring we have r equal to 132 132 into the denominator denominator we have to bring in the numerator by changing the sign okay then numerator okay you have to write down now in two table this will go what uh, six time and sixty six then in eleven table this will go two time this will go what uh, or uh, twenty two table directly what uh, three times so r equal to twenty one centimeter r equal to twenty one centimeter r equal to twenty one centimeter understand so next to what you have to do how to find out the volume volume of water the volume of cylindrical vessel pi r squared h pi r squared h that is equal to pi is 22 by 7 into r 21 into 22 the height height is uh, 25 okay so write correct formula and you put the correct value now just what multiplying uh, just to simplify 7 will go 3 times now this is 66 21 into 25 all multiply all you have to multiply means 21 into 25 66 centimeter uh, cube centimeter cube so to change into liter uh, means uh, 1000 uh, centimeter cube equal to 1 liter 1000 centimeter cube equal to 1 liter sometimes the problem it will not be given you have to remember 1000 centimeter cube equal to 1 liter that means uh, uh, this much uh, 1 centimeter cube means you have to divide it by 10 to get liter therefore now to what divided by 1000 to change centimeter cube to liter means you have to divide it by 1000 you have to divide it by 1000 so you cut it uh, means 100 divide means 34.65 liter thirty four point six five liter understand so like this uh, you have to uh, simplify it and uh, write correct formula and uh, put the correct value so very important this type of problems very important okay so same type of problems i will give it as homework do the homework problem for better practice okay